wanna party to my last breath So there ain't no air in my lungs left I wanna party to death In the club till I'm old like you Yeah, switching up my girls like who's next Yeah, get around, switch it up like roulette Nicky means yo Alright guys, and I am back That is right And I wanna, I wanna be able to level with you And I've got some good news So I finally passed the personal training Yes uh, It's been a long way in the pipeline it's something I've really wanted to do for so long and it's just been something that you know it's just it, it's been everything I've, I've wanted to do and I'm finally getting that and I've just got one one or two little questions to answer every manual that I've got once I've answered all them getting that done that is it you know straight in there for the job that's it you know <laughs> come on so because because of this um, I'm going to be putting three videos on the day all right so I'm going to have a busy day. So there's this one about squats. And the other two I'm going to, I'm going to surprise you with. Yeah? Because everyone loves a surprise. So today's is squats. Today's video is squats. And I'm going to show you a regression. And I'm going to show you how to do a normal, a normal one in the house. And I'm also going to tell you how you would be able to do one which is a progression. Okay? So that's going to be three different ones. Alright? So it goes from like say beginner, intermediate to advanced. All right. So to start with, you need the teaching points for a squat. And the teaching points for a squat is you want to start with your you want to start with your feet shoulder width apart. All right. So you want to be able to actually get into that uh, that gap that you've got. So you know obviously a little bit a little bit larger than shoulder width apart, a little bit larger, a little bit. Uh, a little bit further apart than shoulder width because you want to be able to get into that gap when you go into the squat itself all right you want to keep your head up and you also want to keep your back straight when you go into these all right so you want to actually come back onto your heels as well and i know you can't see me legs right now but you want to be able to actually get into the gap like so you know once you get into that gap like i say you want to push back onto your heels keep your back straight looking up chest up and you can have your hands either here, um, some people like to have them like that. Uh, that's completely up to you, but you know, wherever you find your balance. And then you just want to literally go into it, like so. That is how you do a normal one, alright? A normal squat. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how to do a regression, alright? So, a regression would be to sit on, say, your bed for example, or a chair and do the exact same exercise so let's get into that all right so how to do the regression all right so what you want to do is do the exact same again have your hands either here have them here what you want to do is you want to come and sit on the chair or on your bed for example and come back up but again you want to make sure your legs are shoulder width apart and you want to make sure that your chest is up and your back is straight to do this so you just come back like so and that is how you do that yeah and one basically once you've done that a few times you know if you're a beginner and you sort of get the technique like say if your posture is not quite on uh, for whatever reason and you want to be able to do it you know it's how to start that is the best place to start uh, the regression and then you obviously go into a normal squat after that and then afterwards, you go into the progression. And for progression, there is literally a load of progressions um, in terms of weights as well. Um, you need to do a one-legged one as well if you want to be really, <laughs> really advanced. Um, but I will show you one that you can do in the house. Uh, you can do it even in the gym if you want. That is a kettlebell front squat. All right. I think it also gets called a goblet squat as well. I have covered this in a video previously, um, so that's how I do a kettlebell front squat basically. But it's a progression, and I'm going to show you guys again because you know I'm here, I'm here to inform you. All right, so I'm going to change the camera angle again, and I'm going to show you how to do the squat. All right, and then I'll recap onto the original squat that I've shown you before. I didn't quite get to see. Then we'll wrap the video up, and that's it. Alright, so I'll see you guys in another second. Alright guys, so we're in position and we're going to do the kettlebell front squat. 
all right so again you want to have your legs shoulder width apart maybe a little bit further than shoulder width apart you know you want to have your chest up and have your back straight and you want to go into it because obviously you've got to pick a weight up this time so you want to go into like a deadlift type stance all right like safe lifting pick the kettlebell up by the horns all right come back up so you've got the kettlebell resting right here then you want to go back down on the heels Oh, see, this is why it, it does take a little bit of tinkering. Um, to obviously get it right, you know, as you've just proved there. But when you do get it right, the results are great, and you feel it, you know. And then when you come back down, drop the kettlebell, come back up, there. So that's how you do a kettlebell squat, a kettlebell front squat, and I am I'm ninety percent sure it's also named as a, a goblet squat. So I'm gonna get back into how to do a normal squat. Just gonna have a little drink of water, as you should drink a lot of water a day. <laughs> to be precise, I've also got a video on uh, actually. No, I'm going to put a video on how much water you should be drinking in a day because that is important and you should be drinking roughly about 2 litres of water a day and yeah, that's just an average, an average overview Right, now into a normal squat So I'll get rid of this kettlebell and we go into the normal squat So a normal squat is as follows so your legs want to be a little bit wider than shoulder width apart because obviously like you say you want to be able to get into that gap you know there's no point in having your legs like this because you kind of squat into that alright so that's why we need it to be a little bit further than shoulder width apart so uh, you need to have your arms here or out like so I like to have them in and then remember back straight chest up look straight ahead and coming back onto the heels as well okay like this I might need to go a little bit further like wide alright there we go see and then once you get the rhythm you know exactly what you're doing and you can just keep going and going and and that wraps up this video on how to do a squat how to do a regression how to do a normal squat how to do a progression I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I've told you as of the day, there is another two videos to follow this. So, yeah, stick around. If you like what you see, subscribe. And also uh, follow the links uh, on, on this uh, page as well. I'll take you to Facebook and Instagram for even more content. And yeah, that, that about wraps the video up, so thanks for watching. <laughs> I see no changes, wake up in the morning and I ask myself It's life worth living, should I blast myself? I'm tired of being poor and even worse, I'm black My stomach hurts, so I'm looking for a purse to snatch Cops give a damn about it